Hey everyone, Luke here, um, making a Cabins Agent tutorial. I've uh, been promising to do this for a long time, but let's just do it now. Good level. Okay, so a few things to talk about straight away. Um, first is you want to be using 2.x control style, so either 2.2 or 2.4 probably for this level. The reason is, is that you can um, press B during the opening cutscenes and you can open the elevator door uh, allowing you to have the door wide open when you start the level and saving about 0.2 seconds at the same time you're um, building to full speed as the cutscene is playing so you're going to shoot out of the elevator uh, at full speed so that saves another 0.3 for a grand total of probably 0.5-ish uh, seconds time saved which is a monster amount of time on a level like this and it's what made 101 possible in the first place. So you, you want to skip the first cinema um, just so that the guards are all in good positions and consistent positions throughout the level and then you want to play the whole second cinema but be careful when you reach this point of the cinema you want to press B and um, have the door open so you, you can tell that I haven't actually started taking control of Bond yet but you can see that the door is already opening. So this is going to be really nice and we can uh, make a really clean escape from this lift. Okay, and you want to get straight into right strafe and probably a 45 degree look down. Whatever you feel like, but 45 degree works for me. Okay, so you kind of want to just aim uh, in this direction here, sort of where these where these guards are, and you then want to take a very sharp right turn towards the doors and to where Trevelyan runs. Nothing too complicated yet. Hey, sharp turn, uh, and you can sort of see yourself lining up uh, with this uh, yellow thing. Okay, and now when you can see the door, you want to make sure you fit through, uh, you know, past any guards that are standing there, or if Trevelyan sometimes Trevelyan likes to turn around here or uh, run in the opposite direction. So just be careful, like, it's pretty YOLO and you're going to have to just sort of run for it, but uh, if you can see guards doing silly things, try to avoid them so you can get through the door. Okay? I barely make it through the door, which is as good as, you can, as, good as you can do it. Basically, if um, you grind up against Trevelyan too long, and it usually happens in the doorway, you're going to be losing time. So for um, optimal starts, you really want to just be making it through the door as Trevelyan is making it through the final door. So this is a really, really sweet uh, first two turns. Okay. As you clear the door, uh, you then want to get ready to shoot the gun, the ZMG. And you want to sort of shoot um, two or three bullets into Trevelyan, or just into the ground if you look down more, because this lures a boost from an AR-33 guard as you take the next turn, which is a blind turn, by the way. Um, like the first turn we've made already has been a blind turn and that's what makes cabins um, with 2.x quite difficult for new players is that a lot of what you're doing is in the dark you can't see what's coming up you've got to just learn um, where to turn and how it feels to turn on your control stick so it's a lot of just practice and, and trial and error anyway you're going to see me shoot the bullets now there. there's my um, I start turning down the stairs Okay, and I see perfectly uh, this guard, this guard here, <laughs> he's going to shoot me, so this is as good as it can get. And there's the boost, uh, a really awesome boost. So you play this level, um, if you really want to get 101, you're probably going to have to be resetting if you don't get either this boost or the next boost we're going to talk about um, before the spiral. Okay, so after the boost, just can stay in control and take these turns as tightly as you possibly can. And then when you start to see this door appear, you want to get near it. Um, hopefully you don't get trolled by the two guards standing opposite the door. They can sometimes roll in your way. Sucks. So, look, I see this guard on my left, I mean on my right, actually almost jumps straight in front of me on this uh, world record run. Uh, but I don't take any of that and I go straight past him. Okay, this guard on the left here just ignore him for now keep running and then you want to look up as you uh, hit this barrier on the right or this um, balustrade aim your gun towards this guy y you really want auto aim on while you play for 101 so make sure you have auto aim on and just shoot him once or twice there 
he'll die, grab his assault rifle, and this is a very tricky bit, this is probably one of the toughest bits of the whole level. Uh, you want to do this without losing any time. You can either do it in look down, you can do it in um, the way I like to do it, which is just plain a vision, looking straight across horizontally. Okay, so you want to take a really sharp turn. This is as best as I can describe it. A sharp turn around there. And then a very sharp turn to the right, back to the left against this balustrade here. Right up against this balustrade. This is actually important to say because the guard is to your right and you do not want to get stuck on him. Um, so you want to stay right against this balustrade here without hitting it. Because if you hit this thing, you're going to lose time. You're going to get stuck. I'll go back a bit as well here because you can get stuck in here, like in the staircase. So this is a, a really tough line actually to do really quick and you want to be against it without getting stuck on it. And then again like a sharp turn, a blind turn, but through this door. And uh, that's the first tough bit of Cabin's Agent once you can get around here. Get set up on the spiral and as soon as you can take control of Bond again and start to um, work your way up the spiral and okay so you can do the spiral smoothly by just sort of having an angle of strafe line where you just kind of make it around all the corners indented in the spiral but the fastest and most optimal way to do it is to um, take it jagged so you want to take really sharp turns at each corner point so that you're um, taking the shortest distance around this uh, <laughs> like polygonal spiral. There. See this? Kill this guard. Definitely best to kill him uh, for, for lag reduction and for consistency. And it doesn't take very long to kill him either. But it's a slight detour, I guess. And once you kill him, get uh, back into the groove of the spiral again. And just really focus on not getting stuck against any of the uh, pixels on the left here, because this is uh, very tough to learn, but yeah, th there's like an invisible wall pretty much against this left um, part of the spiral. Okay. And each turn is sort of done after you pass the corner. So, so I pass a corner and I do a turn. Corner, turn, turn. And you want to do it really aggressive. Like, we, we still haven't seen a 101 with a, a sloppy spiral, so we must it must be important. Okay, so aggressive spiral. Okay, now, on really good pace runs, this guard will be here if you're using 2.x. Um, I recommend killing him. You can always just pass straight through the door and then hopefully get a boost by him. It's a pretty sick boost. It's it's a pretty rare boost. But I think killing him is better because um, when you're on runs like this, you want consistency. If you don't kill him, he can like roll in front of you or shoot you, back boost you and stuff. So uh, killing him means lag reduction and it also means consistency because you don't get screwed by him. So I would kill him. It's up to you what you want to do though. Okay, kill him. And then uh, turn right into this room. We call this the cave. Okay, and you want to be aiming now to go as close to this box as you can. Um, and I I don't like looking down here. I feel like looking up is just a stiffer and more precise. And I just feel like it lags more if I look down. So okay, keep look up I guess. Take a tight turn there around the box and then this fucking guard he can really troll you uh, he can back boost you if he's got a quick reaction or he can sidestep in front of your way and on this run I actually have him sidestep and I barely uh, squeeze past him so watch this yeah barely squeeze past him and against the right hand side of the cave there and you want to um, aim and then turn into this door as tightly as you can it's a tricky it's a tricky turn because you can get stuck on the door on the left and the right side. Okay, so straight in. Now, this guard here, he can do lots of different things, but you just want to be able to shoot him, hopefully in the head or in the body. Uh, you really just want to kill him. 
So I like to look down a slight amount for this kill. There, headshot. And then you want to stick your body against the right balustrade here and uh, strafe and get ready to take a right turn. And it's a, this is, might be the hardest right turn in the level because of the risk and because of how much it can be fucked if you miss it. So here comes the right turn. You're turning into... <laughs> to your right, there is a staircase that goes down and there's a tight, like, a solid balustrade that you can get struck, stuck against. You can also turn not enough and get stuck against this guard. Especially when he does this lean animation. If you don't turn enough, you're going to get stuck um, between him and this balustrade. So there's a very small window for where you have to turn. And, like, yeah, it's difficult. So it, requ it requires a lot of practice. You don't want to kill that guard. I don't feel like it's necessary, um, and it's just too difficult once you've taken that really hard turn. Okay, so just keep going here. Hope for a boost, either from the guard behind you um, before it, or from the guard just to your right here. There's, there's an AR-33 guard just to my right at the moment, and he can boost you as well um, down the next part of the catwalk. And I actually get that boost on this run, which is pretty sweet. And then I quickly get ready to kill this guy. Uh, look up again for, for this kill. Two bullets. Take a very sharp turn here. This is an easy turn because there's no risk here. You can just take it as sharp as you can to your right. And I, I always go into look down at this turn because the next turns are really important to get completely precise and you're not killing any guards. So just focus on going back to 45 degree look down. Line yourself up so you're sort of aiming for this corner here and this is a kind of soft corner it's it's not too bad if you like rub right against it so take it as sharp against the corner as you can yep feel like there's no stretch, stretching pixels against that corner um, you know, miss this guard be, you know, strafe past him on his right or on your right, sorry and here another blind turn we're going to take to the right hand side and hopefully this fucker doesn't back you. Okay, through this door. And <laughs> as I'm sort of like going through the door, I try to now get ready to turn to the left as soon as I clear the door and shoot my way through this guard and stay as close to the left wall as I can going towards the last final stretch of the level. Um, unfortunately on this run, I m it may have been nervous. Uh, I may it may have been the mixture of having nerves and also having a little bit more lag or something, so I don't know, man, I just didn't turn quite sharp enough left to kill him, so I go to his right. Oh. Okay, and I miss the kill. But it doesn't really waste much time, but it, it is optimal to kill him, so try that. And I turn here, and now we're going to head towards the, the last right turn before the drone hall, and this guy here is, is absolutely brilliant and he can give you AR-33 boosts all day so for a really sick time you really want to get this boost um, so take the turn here yep there's his animation that we all like to see where we he's priming to kill us and if you see that animation just get ready for the boost sort of like wait it out a bit don't try and turn too early keep strafing get the boost as you're like rubbing against this uh, T-junction wall and take this turn as, as sharp as you can. Okay, to your right. And these two guards are insanely troll. I'm sure you'll, if you if you ever grind for this time or 102, which is also a very good time, um, these guards are going to fuck you over and over again. But just aim straight for this door and don't care about them. Just go as fast as you can, head down, straight for the door. Um, and if they troll you, too bad. You get through the door, have mines out. Uh, so y the ideal place to switch for mines is, is straight after the kill I told you that I missed. So I'm going to go back a bit. Here, after killing... No, go back a bit further. Okay, kill that guard, um, or just miss him. And you then want to switch to mines as you're going down here. There's the mines. Okay, now into the drone tunnel. This is very important, and you want to be on the left-hand side here. Um, you can have look up, doesn't matter, you can have look down. 
just be going full speed, left hand side of the drone tunnel. Um, here comes the drone bullets. Okay, this drone missed me. And the cycle that the drone is on is very odd. We don't fully understand it, but it's my understanding from a lot of play that if you have a 103 pace run, you're going to miss the back boost from the drone if you play it properly. If you're on a 102 pace run, you're going to get backed by the drone. Uh, if you're on a 101 pace run, you're going to miss the drone back again. So it's on a two second cycle, just like the doors on Silo. So yeah, 104 pace, you're going to get hit by it. 106, you're going to get hit by it. And the odd numbers, you're going to miss it. And when I say 101 pace, um, that just means that if you have a perfect ending as well, or a very, very good ending, um, and you don't also need a boost on that. So let's just say you're on the 102 pace run and you get that back by the drone. Because it's um, you, you could have been on like a decent 102 pace run, you're probably going to salvage a 102 with a great ending. Um, but it is possible that you were on a very high 102 pace run, got backed by the drone, and then weren't quite insane enough at the end to salvage it, or it just wasn't possible because you didn't get an extra boost. But for all intents and purposes, uh, you really want to get these um, 101 pace runs where you miss the back, miss the back, and I actually get a boost at the end of the drone haul, which is really rare and really amazing. Um, and then what happens here is you, okay, there's this pillar here where this guard is standing. This guard is one of the most troll guards in the whole game. If he's seen you early, which you can do like very often, he'll charge in and start running through this fucking door and uh, you will get stuck on him every single time because you have your minds out because you're getting ready to warp the elevator door to unarmed. So there's nothing much you can do about him. Uh, if he trolls you, you're, you're just going to have to reset. Or you can just warp past him if you're not really concerned about getting a crazy time. But for that perfect run, you really... He has to stand there. And you've just gotten shot, or you've, you've just gotten through this door, okay? You want to veer right a little bit, because this pillar has a stretching pixel, like an invisible wall right here. If you get stuck against that, you're just going to waste heaps of time. So I'd take a very slight veer to the right here, past it, and then veer left again. And you want to be as close as you can to this pillar. And you want to do this all in one straight line. Uh, for 101 especially, like this has to be really super tight against this pillar. You have to be so close to these pillars, it is, it is pretty scary, because you can get stuck at any moment. Um, yep, aim for the door. And the insane warp on caverns is pressing A to switch weapons to unarmed, and then pressing B on the door, and then turning into the door. So that's what you should try and do, and actually it's pretty forgiving. Um, the cabin's door might be the most forgiving warp in the in the game, I think, for a really insane warp. And I slightly, I I got a bit nervous, I think, and I slightly buffed it, but not by much. I probably wasted point one or so on this warp, but it was still a good warp. It's good to get it. Okay. Okay. Now just a couple more things I. I missed that I'm going to just go back through. There's another boost that you can get at the start. So, just watch this. Shoot. Turn. Boost. Okay, shoot again here if you want the other boost. As you're taking these turns towards the next door, if you shoot another three bullets or so, you're going to lure a boost as you go through the door. By this guard here. So, yeah, that's actually a really interesting strat, and uh, I've seen it work a few times. But it's also pretty difficult to to get it. It's um, sometimes it can just get you can get stuck on the guard. So uh, I mean, I don't actually like going for it. I mean, I would recommend you don't actually go for it. But if you want to get that extra boost, by all means, go for it. Good turn here. Turn, turn, turn. Aggressive, sharp turns up the spiral. Do not look down here. I should have said that before. If you look down on the spiral, it's laggy as hell. And uh, it's going to be harder to have good lines against this, uh, the edge of the spiral. Okay? Don't shoot either. Shooting is laggy. Just focus on making these turns as 
sharp as possible. This is 100% skill, this part of the level. This is why I like it so much. There's no randomness at all, you just strafe it. Kill. Good lag reduction. Take this tight. Hopefully he doesn't troll you. Turn. Shoot. Turn. Kill. Look down. Turn. Kill. Boost. Turn. Left, left of the tunnel. And A and B. Okay. So yeah. That's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Ask questions. Get that 101 one-liner.